hello there and welcome back to Building the Boys. Excited. I'm always excited when a Final Hall model turns up. Our friends over at Final Hall at FO have sent us the brand new Medieval Apothecary to build and review on the channel. Um, this looks stunning. Now, I've not built anything from the Medieval range yet, but they did a really nice Medieval Village. It's gorgeous. That's uh, that's on sale now. This one has just launched. So you can get one of these. And if you do want one of these, uh, we do have a code down below in the co in the uh, the description where you can get yourself a very nice 10% off. Beautiful thing, right? Um, beautiful in time for Christmas. They will turn up on time as well. If you order now, you will get this in time for Christmas. But this looks absolutely stunning. It's got kind of a Lord of the Rings vibe going on with it, but also a bit of magic. And it looks really nice. And when these sets light up, they're always so beautiful. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, to building this one. What we're going to do is we're going to crack it open. We're going to see exactly what's inside. Um, and they, they don't waste any space. So even the box isn't humongous. I mean, this is still just shy of 1,500 pieces. So it's a big set. But um, they make use of the packaging. So everything is really condensed in here. So typically what we do is we take a look at everything, including the lighting kits and everything that comes in there. We have a look at the instructions. And then we build it by stage. So after stage one, we'll take a look exactly where we are. And um, we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Then at the end, we'll have a proper chat. And we can talk about where you can get yourself one of these. Um, and also other offers and things that are coming up. But I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this. Really excited always um, when it comes to F4 models. Uh, but let's get this one open. Let's get this one built. If you haven't yet, please be able to like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. But let's get cracking with this. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got going on in this one. I always have the packaging. It's, it's gorgeous black and it's glossy. It's, it's nice. But again, you can see these boxes are full. So <laughs> you're not buying a box of space like some of the other brands. You, you get a huge box, not much. Look at the size of that instruction book. Gorgeous. And as you can see, we are fully loaded. There's so many bags in here. Here's our lighting kits. The lighting kits always kept separately. Um, but I'm going to move this one aside and we'll take a look at the um, the instruction manual because they've always got the kind of inspiration there, which is always always beautifully worded. So here are our instructions again. Beautifully done. I mean, the artwork in these is, is absolutely stunning. We have some uh, some stickers and some elements there. It's a cape element. Look at this. Again, the artwork and the photography is stunning. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Um, they just don't, they don't skimp on anything at all. Gorgeous. The inspiration. So the Middle Ages was a mysterious and fantastical period. This medieval potion shop is designed... For fans of medieval culture and fantasy, the independent apothecary shop located on the outskirts of a medieval town has two floors and provides the necessary potions for the townspeople and passers-by. Next to us is a small herb garden where the apothecary grows common herbs for easy access when making potions. The herb garden also has a small herb house with a roof, which is used by the apothecary for his apprentice and for temporary rest. This set not only recreates the medieval scene, but also adds some mysterious and fantastical elements. Unique to potion shops allowing players to feel the charm of the Middle Ages in the process of assembly. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning. Now you get a feel for it, you get a feel. So you can see how you do your light kit and whatnot here. Um, we have the brick separator, uh, how to apply our decals. So you see the decals go on and then you peel off so it leaves almost like a printed brick. We can see exactly the two light sets that come in this, how they work, how to plug and unplug the connector, and then how to build our minifig. Now he does have a very cute little cloak there. So we're going to, uh, we're going to put that on. I always build the minifigs at the end. Uh, to add them to it but this is what we're doing so stage one's gonna look like that when we're done um can't wait let's get this one open let's get into it i'll check back in after stage one and we'll see how we're looking so here is stage one complete we've got this very solid i love they never skimp on the bases with this very solid base here we've put in a lot of the light in already um and we're starting to build some elements here as well so we have the uh the spell book here we have these scales with these candles we've done like i said a lot of the light and i can already show you the kind of test of the light and you can see what we've got going on there we've got these candles these lanterns lighting up lovely um you can see where the garden's going to go so this is going to be the entrance we're going to build over here so in two we're going to start building up um but it's uh it's nice already it's it's a great use of colors it's it's a very clever build as well so far um with the foundation has been very smart we've hidden a lot of these wires underneath here and a lot more are going to get tucked away so it's uh it's very clever Let's move on to stage two. So here's stage two complete, and it's come on rather nicely. You can see the uh, the lamp goes in there. I can again. I'll show you the uh, the lights. So that lights up that area, lovely. Um, and we've built this uh, roof part for the and well, the building part as well. So we have the torch on the side there. We have this very lovely roof construction here. It's gorgeous. Very clever build. It's very smart. Very clever. 
to see how this all goes together is, is very uh, very smart. So this is separate to to this here. And then we've built some internals. We've got our scales and whatnot over there as well. It's looking it's looking beautiful already. It really is. Uh, we are going to build up significantly now um, in stage three. So I uh, can't wait. So that's number three done. And we've made quite a leap. You can see here we have our uh, external walls up. Now the wire, I know something's going to cover that. Um, we then have the battery box mounted on the back, which is lovely. That's out of the way so we can easily access our lights. Um, we have this side here, but you can see what's going on as you look down in there. And if I flick the light on, you can see the kind of, there we go. The use of space is, uh, is fantastic. It really is. Um, stage four, we're going to be focusing mainly on the garden. So a lot of the herb garden, the apothecary garden is going to be done in this one. A little bit to the top, but we will have a lot more garden for this one. But this is looking beautiful. This is looking so cute. Uh, but yeah, on stage four. So here is stage four complete. Wow, look at the details going into the garden. Uh, this is gorgeous. We've got all these different plants and berries growing here um, for all the lotions and potions that are going to be made in the apothecary. Uh, we have this lovely little uh, bag here, these beanstalks. And we have this. So this has got this lovely kind of straw roof effect. Um, but there is, of course, there's a candle in there. It's looking amazing. It's looking really nice. This We've also added this lovely little cat to our build. Um, and we've added some um, extensions onto these beams to give them that proper old wood look. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's move on to stage five. So this is stage five complete. So we're not touching the main build for stage five, but wow. So you can see this is, I mean, there are lights inside here. So this is where the fire is going to be. But again, their interiors are getting so much better. I noticed it with the, um, the Old West Saloon and also even with the newsstand. You can see so much going on here. So we've got the recipe book there, but you can see we've got the pestle and more, the two little jars. We've labeled those little jars as well. Um, we've got the kiln there. We've got, it's just gorgeous. Look, the bellows here. The detail that goes into these, because uh, this is a small interior, but they've already rammed so much detail in there. It's so busy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this will eventually clip onto here. Now you can see we have our light socket there. So no more wires. The wires are attached to this one. Once this one goes in, it'll make a connection, a positive and negative connection. So we don't have to wire loads down to the battery. All that part's done. So we put that on and this will then light up. Stunning. Uh, now on to uh, stage six. So this is where we are with bag six. Now that little apothecary kitchen we just made is in here. So we built around it. You can see that's where we are. It's looking great. It's looking really nice. They've done so much with, with little space. They've done a lot, a hell of a lot. And it's, uh, all these walls are looking great. Look at these, come on. This is looking really nice, especially with the, the wood effect there. It's looking gorgeous. On to number seven. So here's seven complete. And you can see just how high we've gone now. Um, this is looking lovely. We've built this bedroom up here. Um, it looks great. We've got the chandelier up there. Uh, the little fireplace there, the little writing bureau. These windows are looking great. Uh, if we move around to the back, you can see how we're looking there. Now, I'm going to tell you something that's going to save you a lot of mental torment. You'll be left with these two pieces. Reason why is those two pieces were swapped out for these two pieces. So there was obviously an error when they did this. And they've been swapped out for these two, which are slightly longer on the end than these are. So if you're left with these, don't panic. That's normal. Um, because there is a bag in the box labeled seven that just has these two pieces on, which are the correct ones. So you don't need these ones. So don't panic. So if you're building, you're thinking, this is driving me nuts. That's why. Um, problem solved. This is looking great. This is looking really nice. Then we're on to uh, stage eight. So this is number eight done. And you can see here, look how clever this is. There's such a smart, clever building technique that's gone into this to create this kind of angle on the roof. We've got a bit more roof here. You can see it's looking great. It's looking really, really, really good. Um, I'm very impressed. You can see what's going on in the back there. This is this is a good one. This is a really good one. I'm smiling. I've got a big stupid smile on my face. This is a... This is a nice one, folks. Right, let's move on to number nine. So this is number nine complete. Now look at that. That is crazy impressive. It looks so good. It looks so good. Nature's just taking this one over. Almost like a treetop house. It just looks stunning. It looks so good. Um, now, number 10 is to come next. That's going to be this wall here. And then we're going to be done. We do have our owl. Um, so we have an owl here. I'll show you exactly where he's going. I wanted to... Uh, to put them on for you whilst we're doing this. So we're gonna swing around here. We have this little perch up here where our owl is going to sit just there. 
There he is. This is looking stunning. I can't wait to see this one finished and lit up. That, that's gone to bag 10. So this is stage 10 complete. We've got this lovely chimney on here now, and this is the whole model complete. So we're going to take a look at minifigures, then we're going to take a look at the complete set. So we have our master apothecary there, and then we have his apprentice. Uh, you can put them anywhere in the set, but um, we'll, um, we'll have a look at the full set complete. They're looking lovely. I mean, you can see the printing on this one. It's looking absolutely stunning. He's got his little lotions and potions. And then we have our, uh, our apprentice here. He's looking a little downtrodden. But um, look at the face detail on this one. I think he's stunning. It looks great. They both look really good. And they're great additions to the set. Great additions to the medieval theme as well. Let's have a look at the complete set. So here is our complete set. And it is stunning. It looks beautiful. I mean, with the wood and whatnot, it looks... This wood trim, this veneer here looks amazing. It looks so good. Um, the garden at the front looks spectacular. You can see all the different little plants and whatnot. We've got the torches on the walls. It just looks great. I mean, you've got the apothecary sign there. Um, this is lovely. This is the second one in the medieval line. So you can see we've got this very nice door here. All this opens up, so we can see into there. Now, I will light this up, of course, so you can see it all lit. But at the moment, we're just having a look as is. Uh, so how do we access it all? Well, I'll show you that as well. So to access everything, these just lift straight out. It's the wall panels. Uh, the ceiling panel, sorry, do just lift that out. So you can lift the ceiling panels out and you can access. Now you can take the other one off as well on the other side. So the other one will come off as well. So you can access uh, that side to um, to play uh, or to view exactly what's going on because there's, a, there's some beautiful interior. So it'd be a shame not to uh, not to show it off to people. But um, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I really don't want it to fall. There we go. Let's leave that off for now. <laughs> We're going to move right into the back. Uh, and then here you have a door. So you can access this one through a door there. So you can see everything that's going on in this floor here. Uh, and then at the very bottom, this wall will come out. So this entire wall will come out. Uh, if I can show you that. I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> Let me figure that one out and I'll show you. Bear with me. There we go. I was pulling the wrong spot. So the whole wall will lift off so you can access uh, down below. But as well, this will lift off. So the whole top section will just lift straight off. I can show you this. So this will come off. There we go. So this will come off so you can access there and get right down into there. Uh, same again. This will come off so you can lift that off so you can access all of these floors for playability and see what's going on. It looks stunning. It looks amazing. You're going to want to see it lit up, right? So let's light it up. Okay, so let's light her up. Now we have very easy access to the battery pack. There we go. And you can see our light in here. So we have this light at the front here. Uh, we have our torch there. You can see the light shining through our windows. Doesn't that look nice? Here. This warm glow, I think is beautiful. Uh, we can open this door and I can show you what's going on inside of here. Now you look in. You can see everything that's going on in there. Beautiful. So we'll move this round. Again, the warm glow coming through these windows. Move to the back. If we take this one, open like so. You can see what's going on in there. Does not look nice. Does not look good. So we've got that one there. And then if I move the ceiling section. We've got a fire there. Warm in the bed, our lovely chandelier. This looks beautiful. Let's take a look at it with all the lights on. Let's kill all the lights there and see what it looks like. So there we are with, you can see just how bright this light is coming off of there. That's ridiculous. Look how strong that light is. It looks gorgeous. This, this lovely soft glow coming through these windows because again, it's medieval. So it's supposed to be candlelight. You wouldn't want a powerful light beaming out of these, but these look beautiful. These look absolutely beautiful, they really do. They really do. And then we go around the back. And we'll open the door. Now we can see that warm glow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's have a chat. So there we have our apothecary complete. And it's beautiful. It's really nice. Um, what's wrong with it? There are a couple of things I've got issue with. Now, there's nothing wrong with the build. The build's fantastic. The build is, is a very clever build. 
the construction's great. It uses some very, very clever um, build techniques. My issue is all based around the lighting. So my main critique of this one is that the lights are static. Um, in the, um, the hunter's cabin, we had some flickering lights. Because all of this is candlelight and firelight, it would have been nice to see flickering lights rather than static lights. It's a minor complaint, um, and it's not really a complaint, it's it's an observation. Um, it would have been nice to see flickering candles. Medieval uh, candlelight, I think it would be nice to see them flicker rather than just static lights. My only other um, criticism of this one is I was waiting for the, the magic part where something was going to cover the wires up on the side, and it never comes. So the wires are slightly exposed on the side on this one, but again, that's me nitpicking. That's me looking for fault because the way you're going to display this, you're never going to see those wires. You're not. Um, so that's the only that's my only two minor points about it. I would say it would have been nice to see flickering lights um, for flames, but I, I get it. It's um, it does it take away from this? No, this is an absolutely beautiful set. It's got a very kind of Lord of the Rings vibe going on with it, and it would look good in any kind of like. Dungeons and Dragons set or fantasy, but fits right in with medieval as well. So if you want to just go pure medieval and historic, it's right there. But if you want this as part of your fantasy collection, it would fit right in. And it's um it's a thing of beauty. It's really gorgeous. The roof has got such a clever design to it. Um, all the rooms are so busy. And the one thing I will definitely say is Funhole have have upped their game when it comes to interiors. So the interior of the Western Saloon that you can see behind us was fantastic. Even the interior of the new stand, which was much smaller, had so much going on. And this is the same with this one. Everywhere you look, there's something else going on with it. Um, you can see the bed and the little um, bed warmer being warmed up on the fire. You go into the apothecary, there are loads of different jars and the jars have different labels on them and whatnot. There's a pestle and mortar, the bellows, everything. There's so much going on. It's such a busy set in the best possible way. Um, I like this one. I really like this. This is just over 50, uh, just under 1,500 pieces. It's 1,470 pieces. And you can get this one for 79.99 US dollars, which is going to be around about 65 pounds uh, GBP. But if you are quick, and you're going to have to be quick on this one, uh, there is a sale currently on uh, Funhole Sutton. It's this sale here. So you can currently get 20% off everything in their sale, but that's only until the 19th, so you're going to have to move fast. If you're looking for a birthday, a Christmas present for someone this time of year, this is beautiful. If not this one, the other ones we've done as well are all on offer on the channel. And also, if you would like another cheeky 10% off, I've got my discount code down below, which is exclusive to the channel. So if you pop that in at checkout, you will get 10% off. We'll put some links down below as to exactly where you can get this and the other sets as well that we featured on the channel. This is absolutely beautiful. There is another one. So again, this is not the only medieval one they've done. They did a much larger set, the Medieval Marketplace, and it's this one. Now, I don't have that one, but I want that one, but I don't have that one. But these, I think this one with those, you've already got your Medieval Village. Just on those two sets, you've got enough for a Medieval Village. And again, this is what I like about um, Funhole. They get me excited, you know, because you're thinking, well, what else are they going to do? What else is going to come? And 2024, I think, is going to be an amazing year from them, I do, because we're going to see more from the Wild West range. I hope we see more from the Medieval range, because I really like this. I think it's a good, I think it's a good one. We've got to see a castle at some point, surely. Surely we're going to see a castle um, or a forge. That'd be good. Like a gold, that'd be good. A weapons forge. Um, that'd be fantastic. But, and this is what gets me excited. What else is coming? What else are we going to see from Steampunk? What else are we going to see from City? What else are we going to see from the uh, the Great Outdoor sets? They are great sets. And honestly, if you are still um and ah in, it's time to it's time to pull the trigger on these because trust me, um, these sets are getting better and better and better. So you can get some great prices on these. Jump on them now. Use the discount code down below and get yourself a very nice ten percent off. And uh, we'll be back very soon, hopefully with more um, uh, fun home models, because these are these are beautiful. They always make me smile. Big thanks to Sandra for sending this through to us. And um, again, I doff my cap to the um, to the designers of this because they have they have absolutely nailed it on this one. It looks stunning. It really does. That's all from me. Uh, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. Um, you can contact us at buildingtheboys.outlet.com. 
And in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. And if I don't see you before then, have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Take care and I'll see you soon.